is Wednesday. I said I would record yesterday, but I did, but I didn't. I did record, but I will not um, upload that because of my oldest son had a friend at home. Not the friend he used to have at home, because that's more or less my, my spare son. <laughs> He had another friend at home and every time I was recording they popped up and I have not asked permission for this boy's parents to include him in this podcast or have him on YouTube so I will not upload that because that's something I don't do because I would go quite crazy if someone else would do that with my kids without asking my permission so anyways this thing is like heaven this nerve stimulation thing i so thrilled i'm so happy i'm so relieved i'm so pleased i'm every good words word you ever can think of just I keep on going with my praise <laughs> and no let's stop this Friday anyways we will pull this one out take everything off and I will go back to my miserable life for a while because we have taken the decision me and my surgeon and my doctor and my special nerve surgeons and my pain doctors that this thing is going to be a permanently thing i'm thrilled i'm relieved and i am still quite shocked because i didn't believe this thing actually would work at all i didn't i had no hopes at all because through this year I have been trying so much things from more or less the heaviest painkillers to yeah everything if I would go into that rabbit hole we would be here for like a year so I would not go there but this was the last thing that had for an option now and it works it works <laughs> I am so glad even though it works with a combination of my pills today I know it's gonna be better when it, they are actually putting in the real ones and start to fiddling with the the program that are more or less custom made for me so I'm so excited I really am and I'm just so I'm almost all overwhelmed I don't know what I should say I'm speechless I'm thankful I'm so happy because I know everyone who are living with nerve pains don't have the opportunity to actually try one of these or maybe cannot afford one of these because it's a very expensive treatment if you are not in a health insurance or living in Sweden like a Swedish citizen this has not cost me a penny and I wish it was that way for everyone who lives in a constantly pain it would not be a money question but anyway today it's a good day in every type of way uh, if you ask my left arm it's not a good way day to day because my left arm do cramp and that's quite funny because I see a pattern here every three days these cramps coming back 
these cramps are not so painful anymore with this nerve stimulation things that probably have a suitable name or fancy name I don't know what it's called anyway but even though I have it I know the cramps will not go away but the pain is so much easier and the cramps are not so horrible so that's good but it's a good way in another way because my mystery stash bundle from Let Gasson arrived today that my husband bought for me for my birthday and look at these beautiful babies look at them look at all of the colors they are so beautiful I don't want to do anything with them I will just sit them, pet them, squeeze them cuddle with them can I do that? am I allowed to not use them? <laughs> I will have them like stuffed toys okay I will show them one by one and tell you what it is this beauty is BFL Twist DK Abadorian's Water and it shows up quite true to the color. That's good. And then we have this beauty. It is BFL Soft Purple YOLO. It's a thing of any weight. Then we have these beauty. This is so my jam. This one is BFL Soft Mustard Yolo. It's also thing on weight. It's 820, so 80 BFL wool and 20 nylon. And here we have look at this pink. This is Kirby. Kirby's pink, it's 100% BFL wool, this BFL twist DK. Hmm. I think this would be a really, really nice summer garment for Alva. And then we have this, it's BFL twist DK Remnis Peach, also 100% BFL wool. Look at these two together. Wouldn't that be a beautiful summer cardigan this summer, by the way? And then we have this one. This is also summer I am. This is BFL sock, finger and weight, Emma's stone. And this one. Let's see if I hold it better. Or red. No. It's turned out too bright, but it is just stunning. It's British four ply Nikki's currently obsession. It is. Hold on. I don't can see a thing. It is seventy five beef percent beef wool. And it's 25 Masham wool. Oh, that's the beautiful sheep with the, the bang. Isn't it? They look so cute. No, no super watch fingering. This is just mean, this little label. I need to know if I got it all right, that Masham wool. If the Masham is the breed I'm thinking about. And then we have this mini. I really love this mini. And so I will not even try. And then we have a bigger mini skein. 
and I really like this deep, deep petrol. I love this one. And we have this deep, deep, deep navy blue. And this brown, red, rose. <laughs> it's so squishy. Then we have this peach. I think this is the same. Maybe not. No, because this is a thing on white, but it's the same. It's the same color. Anyway, so I'm so thrilled. I do not know anything what I would do with it, but I will probably figure something out. Out, or maybe I just want them for decoration. That's okay. That's okay. Because buying yarn and knit are two separate hobbies. <laughs> If you ask me, and I do not have a huge stash actually anymore because I'm trying to be good and work from what I have at home because I have quite a limit of space. <laughs> and then we have these two. I will pop these two onto my Victories and Alvas bags. I know that Victor is gonna want this one and Alva's gonna want this one. And she's gonna name this one Sven and Victor is gonna name this one Tahiki. I just know. If I got it all wrong, I will promise to tell you. Then we have these stickers. This bag. This tote bag also was in the package so I know what's going to live in this one for a while but anyway that was a briefly update today and I will not ramble on for much longer right now I think I will briefly update you tonight on the white posy why in earth do I want to call that one the wild possum? I have told my husband so many times that I just gonna finish my wild possum. <laughs> wild posy tonight. Because the wild posy are finished, but it's currently outside drying after I have blocked it. So I will show you that one later on today. But anyways, I'm doing fine. I'm doing perfectly fine. I'm so relieved. So I will have a brief update tonight. And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. pulled off that was a not so nice experience <laughs> it didn't hurt but it felt really weird and really uncomfortable 
like someone was scratching your spine from the inside. Hold on, I will be back in a sec. I had to close Alba's <laughs> playing computer. Because when she leaves that, it's go on for ages and ages with the same sound that she would, would have to push a button. And that drives me crazy. But today I'm wearing my white posy and we are outside. It's 90, 19 degrees. So it's quite hot. So I will stay in the shadow because yeah, if you know, you know, I don't like the hot weather. So I'm actually outside on the porch knitting on Alva's What are what are she doing? Wait, I will switch the camera. What in earth are she doing over there? <laughs> screaming and tells everyone she has a baby in her belly. <laughs> I think that is because of her kindergarten teacher is expecting kid. So Alva have pretended being pregnant for a while now, for a few weeks. So and this is one thing that's actually it's happening when the sun's hit me and I don't cover my scars it gets red it itch like crazy <laughs> I can't stop looking at it and it drives me bunker this scar it's not so worse it's not so bad as my other one on my actually shoulder yeah so I Did actually just wanted to pop in show off my lovely wild posy not wild pose some possum wild posy and <laughs> yeah today is Sunday and this is how it had been the whole day. They are fighting. Hey. They are dirty. They are playing in the sandbox. Alva. 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 Go to the box. And I used small monsters today. Yesterday I pulled the cord out, took the device off and in just a few seconds after I was back to normal. The pain was back and yeah, sleepless nights or night I would say is back and I cannot wait to I can have the next surgery and insert my permanent one. And I'm so thrilled. Even though this device didn't work perfectly in the best possible way right now, I know when I have my own, my real one, they can more more or less custom made it for me. We can fiddle with other type of programs and things to just find the most suitable suitable program for me. So yeah, it has been an experience, and I'm quite quite impressed I need to say because I didn't believe this was, would work at all actually I didn't I didn't 
and I tried to record yesterday in the show of my beautiful white posy but my little Alva decided she wanted to climb all over me scream at me she was happy she was super happy and I was in a lot of pain and I tried my best to let her just be and be in my lap and just be the mom she used to have and if you are a new subscriber my youngest daughter Alva is four years old and she's super attached with me she has always been and the hardest part I just had to sort out a new fight <laughs> but the hardest part of this weird journey through it all becoming paralyzed have like a million procedures it feels like and not be able to be the mom I used to be have been really hard for her really hard she have been more climby more needy around me after all this she needs more of more to be close with me she are not so happy to go away from me so it, that, that had been hard really hard it's one of the worst thing actually and yesterday she had had just one of those day she really needed to be with me and it's more or less every day when I'm feeling bad but we get through it we sort of our way out and we are trying to find some type of new routines a new normal and this device I am sure gonna help me a lot with that so an announcement we are expecting a new dog a new baby dog I will pop in picture of him it's a Labrador named Ice he is going to arrive in two weeks so now it's gonna be seven dogs instead of six dogs actually I only have three dogs inside of my house my mom and dad have two dogs inside of their house and my fourth dog are actually living with the kid's grandma because she lost her dog and my all the sons, little dog, it's a naked chihuahua, moved to her because of the last, she's alone, she loved that dog, that dog loves her, so she are more and less living there, not all the time, but often, so it will more or less only be six dogs here anyway, and he's so cute, he's so cute, but it's not actually my dog, it's my mom and dad's dog. <laughs> but I will steal him, I promise. Because he's so cute. He's a baby. Every baby on Molly is cute. So that's just a brief update of a very sunny, very hot Sunday, Saturday afternoon in the middle part of Sweden, right with the east coast. And now... I am going to clean up my kids and have a pizza and try to add it together some type of vlog from little snippets through all of the day that I have not uploaded anything because I think I have all the time in the world but obviously I don't because it's 
have been doctor appointments every single day, not the physical ones, but it has been through Zoom and through the phone. And it has been a lot. But I hope to update you more about that. If not to you this evening, maybe tomorrow and go through what's what are happening right now. So I will see you soon. Thank you.